So tobacco has been grown in wild America for the past 8,000 years and started being used for religious ceremonies and events when it first came about. It was cultivated for the first time in 1531 in Europe and in 1602 is the year the earliest known smoking illnesses were found out or came around. The tobacco industry was born and smoking, smoking spreads around the 1700s. And in 1795, Samuel Thomas von Sommering of Maine, Germany, reported the first cancers in lit pine pipe smokers. 1798, the U.S. physician Benjamin Rush wrote about the medical dangers of smoking. And in the 1920s, the first medical reports linking smoking to lung cancer came about. However, in the late 1800s, cigarette machines were developed, and these machines could produce 200 cigarettes a minute, and today's machines make about 9,000 a minute. In 1881, James Bonzek created a machine that could roll 120,000 cigarettes a day, and in World War I and World War II, soldiers were given free cigarettes to boost morale. If current patterns do continue, 10 million people worldwide every year by 2020 will die from smoking, and 70% of deaths occur in less developed countries. Philip Morris was a big tobacco leader. They have now the Philip Morris Company in New York. He lived from 1835 to 1873. He was the son of an immigrant from Germany to England, and in 1847, his family opened a tobacco shop in Bondis in London and was making their own, his own cigarettes by 1854. Philip Morris died of cancer in 1873, leaving behind his widow, Margaret, and his brother, Leopold Morris, to carry the cigarette trade. Philip Morris and Company became the leading manufacturer of cigarettes in the U.S. and has been since 1983. In the 19th century, people smoked tobacco out of clay pipes. They began with smaller bowls and then eventually grew bigger bowls to hold more. George Washington Duke of North Carolina was the first one to mass produce a cigarette after the American Civil War and could roll about four cigarettes per minute. James Bonzac joined Duke's son and produced 10 million in the first year after they created their company. The cigarette smoke contains over 7,000 chemicals, which 70 are known to cause cancer. About nine out of 10 smokers start before they're 18 and the rest begin before age 26. Smoking cigarette cause more than 5 million deaths worldwide. And again, if the current trend continues, it shows 8 to 10 billion annually by 2030. Tobacco is the leading cause of preventable deaths in the world. Moving on to vaping, which is something that has been created to try and get people away from smoking cigarettes. The first documented reference of an e-cigarette patent is from Joseph Robinson in 1930. It is unknown if there is a prototype that was even made. In the 1960s, Herbert A. Gilbert made the first device that closely modifies, closely resembles a modern day vapor e-cigarette device and received a patent in 1965. In 1919 and 1980, Phil Ray, one of the computer pioneers, created a device with physician Norman Jacobson and was the first commercialized variation of this e-cigarette we have today. However, it was a dead end, but it created the word vape because it relied on evaporation of the nicotine. In the 90s, Reynolds created the eclipse, which heat, not burn, between a pure nicotine inhaler and a combusted e-cigarette. A used tobacco company was shot down by the FDA in 1998 to bring their version of an e-cigarette to the market because it was an unimproved drug delivery device. But in 2003, the first commercially successful e-cigarette was created in Beijing by Han Leek, a 52-year-old pharmacist, inventor, and smoker. E-cigarettes were first introduced to Europe in April of 2006, and around the same time, they were introduced to the United States. In March 2008, Turkey Health Ministry suspended e-cigarette sales claiming that it's just as harmful as smoking cigarettes and the nicotine is the most dangerous chemical out of 4,800 poisonous chemicals in cigarettes and it is still suspended at this time, but they are able to purchase them online. 
the World Health Organization, who stated in September 2008 that they don't believe an e-cigarette is a legitimate way to stop smoking cigarettes. And in two, January 2009, Australia banned all possession and buying of, or sales of any nicotine that is not a cigarette or a replacement therapy, and it is classified as a poison if it's not one of those two. The American Association of Public Health Physicians submitted two citizen petitions to FDA in March of 2010 asking the FDA to reclassify the e-cigarette to a tobacco product, all while the first vape fest was being held in Richmond, Virginia. Towards the end of the year in, the, in December, Smoking Everywhere versus FDA, U.S. Court of Appeals in Washington ruled that the FDA can only regulate e-cigarettes as tobacco products unless therapeutic claims are made. And in April the following year, the FDA announces that they will regulate e-cigarettes as it does traditional cigarettes and other tobacco products under the Food, Drug, and Cosmetics Act. However, if a product claims to help stop smoking or provides health benefits, it will be re regulated as a drug or medical device. January of 2013, a petition to the White House was created using prevent the FDA from regulating or banning sale and use of e-cigarettes, accessories, and associated liquids, which is stated in CASA. A few months after that, in June, R.J. Reynolds announced the VIEWS will be launched in July in Colorado, and in November 2013, Italy lifted the ban on vaping in public. May of 2016, the FDA released their final regulations on vaping and later going into effect August 8th of 2016. The regulation gives the FDA Center for Tobacco Products, CTP, regulatory authority over all e-cigarettes, vapes, liquids, e-cigars, e-hookahs, and oversight is a top priority for the FDA of this agency. For the use of today's e-cigarettes and vapes, they use a cartomizer instead of an ultrasonic atomizer, and most of the models have a button to push that heat up the cartomizer and produce a vapor of flavored or unflavored liquid. The liquids used usually contain water, food grade flavoring, the choice of nicotine of the person, propylene glycol, or vegetable glycerin. Within the liquids, the argument today has reverted back to if e-cigarettes and vaping is actually good or beneficial to quit smoking. However, it has yet to be proved.